Well, the Neo Eyes Comet is the most visible comet since the Hale Bop back in the mid 90s. If you have a, a telescope or you just want to get out in a clear sky, you've just got a few more days to see it now. Once it vanishes, not going to be back for roughly 7,000 years. So better take the opportunity while you can. Joining us from the Cincinnati Observatory is astronomer Dean Regis. Dean, always love picking your brain about things a little bit. Let's talk about Neo Eyes because this is one where we didn't necessarily know this thing was coming until pretty recently, right? Oh yeah, so we've been watching these other two comets that were supposed to be bright and they fizzled out and then all of a sudden Neowise comes out of nowhere and really lights up the night sky. It's been pretty dramatic to see. Given that we know it's not going to be back for 7,000 years, how is it we didn't know about this one? We can, we can tell, I guess, by, by its orbit or whatever that it won't be back in that long, but how did we not know this one was coming? Well, comets are very fickle things, and plus they're way far away from the sun most of their lives. We can only catch them when they're very close to the sun and close to us. And so when we saw this, we thought, oh, this is going to be pretty interesting, and it brightened up even more than expected. And uh, so we've been watching it here at the observatory. We could see it from the grounds here. We could see it from some of the parks. Uh, but it is a little bit fainter than you might expect. Those pictures that you get are a little bit exaggerated. So you do need binoculars at least or a telescope to be able to see it. So let's talk about how much longer we have the opportunity to see because I know it's really only a handful of days. So what's the, the, the best time, the best day that we have left to see Neowise? Tonight. Well, no, I always say sooner rather than later because we're not sure what the comet will do, if it'll hang around or not. Uh, so the best time to view is 1010 to 1045 p.m. Uh, and you want to face northwest, have a clear view to the horizon, and it's about 10 degrees up above the sky. So it's pretty low in the sky. And uh, what I did is I just scan around with binoculars, face due northwest. You can use your compass or a compass app, uh, face that way and start at the horizon, slowly pan up, and you should be able to see it. It is really cool in a pair of binoculars. Looks like a, a little uh, a little comet tail or comet head with a nucleus and then a tail streaming off the back of it. It is pretty cool. That's awesome. Now, has the observatory been doing anything with Neowise where the public can get involved? I'm sure with social distancing and different things, you've, you've got to reserve space and all that kind of thing. But is there anything going on at the observatory? Uh, on site, no, but we have lots of other things. Uh, the best place to go for viewing tips is to our website, CincinnatiObservatory.org. We do have some on site programs here. We're open on Tuesdays and Thursdays during the daytime by reservation, and Friday nights also by reservation. And we're going to be starting to open up even more in, uh, in August. So we'll be posting those hopefully this week. Let me pick your brain just a little bit about a couple of other things. So last year was sort of the, the, the big year for remembering the moon landing because it was 50. But, you know, it's 51. I still think it's a, an incredibly significant thing to think about as we, we project toward going back to the moon and eventually Mars. Now you've got this whole SpaceX thing with those fellows up there working on the batteries on the International Space Station. It's such an exciting time to be doing what you're doing, I would imagine. Oh yeah, happy moon day, by the way. This Thank is uh, July 20th, uh, 51 years ago, uh, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon. And so we always mark the anniversary here at the observatory. Uh, but you're right, there's a lot of amazing things happening in space travel, private space travel, along with lots of unmanned missions that are going on right now too. Uh, so it's, it's an exciting time. Uh, we have the comet, we have space missions, we've got uh, new galaxies discovered, and then uh, for the public, you could look out and see Jupiter and Saturn right at, in the nighttime sky. It's really an awesome time. And we have an unbelievable place like the Cincinnati Observatory to learn more about all these things. Dean Regas, as always, thank you for your time, buddy. It's good talking to you. Hey, my pleasure. Keep looking up. Will do, buddy. Will do. Hey, and, 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 and speaking